Jerome from Cryptolium here. I just thought I'd talk about one of the new features that we've released to the system. So the MACD, the Moving Average Convergence Divergence. Um, now, what makes us different to TradingView for our MACD analysis basically is that we have the 5, 15, 30 minute and 4 hour candles, 1 hour candles soon to be as well, all on the same page. So this really allows you to um, you know, dive into the graphs a lot easier and basically save a lot of time you know, trading. So um, we'll take a look at an example here that I've already got open. So we'll look at waves. Um, so now if you look here, so the five minute candles, um, you know, the MACD is going back down, histograms decreasing. And if we take a look at the 15 minute one, um, you know, it's starting to catch up to the same, whereas the 30 minute is going up and the four hours going down. So what does it, this all mean? Well, I mean, it really depends on which candle you're trading on, but basically um, there's not much to this page other than you being able to really see all the MACD um, at once instead of having to bring that up on different candles um, wherever you're charting. Um, so this is basically just another place you can do your MACD analysis. And um, I mean, it's, Pretty on par with the exchanges. So, for example, we're looking at Bitrix, the five minute one. So, we've got it down here. Now, if we take a look at the exchange, as I've got it up here as well, so I'll put it at five minutes and pull up the MACD. Now, if you compare the two, so this is what we're seeing on Bitrix right now and then on Cryptolium, so we're just waiting to get that last connection. Um, you know, so obviously when we're looking at Bitrix, the candle's still, you know, information. When we're looking at Cryptolium, you know, we take it when it's already complete, so every five minutes. Um, so I'll go in a bit further in MACD. So this is just, you know, for the people that do do a lot of trading, you can use this page to get an analysis uh, much easier and you know the cool part about it is if we didn't if trading view sorry doesn't have an exchange that they support like cryptopia or um you know hit btc kucoin then you can actually use our website and you know do the macd analysis from here so you know it does offer you that bit of extra leverage when you're trading so the next step that i want to look at is the exchange based alerts so i'll take a look at um the 15 minute one for example so we've got MACD in here as well um, so now I won't get too much into the alerting um, dashboard or this new dashboard I'll do that in a separate video so I just mainly want to cover um, MACD and how it's been implemented in the system and how you can use it in your trades so for example we have three different alerts for MACD now which is new to Cryptolium so now, what you can do is you can go and hover over even in one of these boxes and it will tell you what this does. So um, it will give you a bit more detail about the alert. So the first one is MACD crossover. So we're looking for where the MACD crosses over the signal line. And then we've got the next one is MACD up and RSI oversold. So what this means is, is what MACD up refers to is that it's gone up in the histogram and the RSI is actually oversold, so it could be a good time to get into this trade because a lot of people will only use two simple indicators to go into a trade, and it might be just looking at if the MACD is crossing over or is about to cross over, which you would use this alert for because if it's already crossed over, it's most likely not oversold anymore. So this can be used to know and to tr try and uh, preempt an attack, try and preempt the trade. So basically you would go in to a trade, for example, this one, you know, let's take a look at it. So it's probably the best way. So it was Ethereum. And we're looking at the 15 minute candles. Okay. And we'll just wait for Bitrix to load up. Okay, let's hop over to the 15 minute candles, now pull in, oops, we'll pull in the RSI 
on the MACD indicators. Just using the defaults because Kryptolium would be using the defaults as well. So, so we received an alert. RSI is below 35, so we are tracking it a bit earlier from our side. Um, but basically, the MACD had a histogram increase. So this doesn't necessarily mean that the histograms going on an uptrend it basically just means it's increased so from you know this point over here to this point over here it's increased while it's very minute um, you know you could be looking at these alerts to find the bottom you know so for example if we're looking at Ethereum now I'd say we're pretty close to the bottom because right now the RSI is oversold it could go a bit lower I suspect it could hit the bottom so it could hit the 30 RSI. So this is one of our, um, the trades that I would actually sort of just keep an eye on. And if I saw it hit the previous, you know, resistance, uh, then I would, I would put in a small trade, but I would put in a stop loss um, just in case. So always use, you know, stop losses. But, you know, this to me looks like it could be moving anywhere from this point, but it could go a lot more further below. So it's, it's something I would just keep an eye on to see if it hits these previous resistance levels. Um, if it does, then, you know, somewhere around here, I might enter a small trade with a tight stop loss. But um, yeah, this is how that alert can be used. So, you know, we've seen that Ethereum, um, well, that was on Bittrex. This is alerting for Binance. So, it looks like it's just happened on Bitrix as well. So these exchanges usually follow each other very closely. But that is how you would tackle one of those, um, you know, trades. You would just, you know, see that it's alerting. Go and see if it's a good point to go in. Check previous resistance levels. If everything looks like, um, you know, you could hit that bottom again. The market's trading sideways. So Bitcoin's trading sideways. You know, nothing that might throw, um, you know, this technical analysis off the balance. And then um, basically you just use that information and see if it's a good time to enter a trade you know always do your own research any other indicators that you might use or if you might want to read up on what's happening with the coin you know look into those things but um those are the kind of things that normal sort of traders would look out for when they're going in and making trades based off these two metrics um you know it's really up to you i don't see any need to um have to pull up any fibonacci uh levels or you know it depends um how much you really want to read into it if you want to see if you can capture the previous support and resistance levels um, more accurately then go ahead i tend to just look for previous hard bottoms um basically that were resistance because um that's where i believe it will find support once again so um you know everyone has their own opinions and this isn't really any financial advice but um that's a way that someone might tackle this alert so you know, there's a lot more now. It refreshes every five minutes, guys. So um, that's the MACD up RSI oversold. Now the MACD free histogram increases. What that would basically indicate is basically just free increases on the histogram itself. So the histogram is this center bars where basically it's either going up or down and usually when it's going up that's when a crossover is usually indicated and then um what we're looking for in increases is not just increases where it's gone back over zero but increases as a whole so from here you know to here to here um if those were free increases that's what that would be counting so it's similar to our um, volume and price spike alert so what this one does is it looks for Free candles um, that have gone up in volume and price, and then it sets up this alert here. So MACD is very similar, but then as you all know, MACD doesn't just look at um, the completion of the candle. It looks at you know what's happening in between as well. So you can catch out those kind of spikes a bit earlier than volume and price increase, but um, you know definitely a more volatile check, um, similar to the volume and price increases. So basically. Those are the ones that will sort of catch a, catch a pump as early as possible, you know, but you have to be really switched on and looking around what's happening in the market and do your quick research. Um, but basically, um, you know, that's it for, for MACD. I mean, 
pretty much everyone knows usually what crossovers are for. Usually people try to catch um, a cryptocurrency or I guess in any trading scenario they will try to catch the crossover so they don't usually trade once the crossover has actually happened um, which is what we're indicating here. However, usually what you can do is once you see that the crossover is there, um, you know, depending on the previous MACD sort of patterns, you know, if it's gone on these runs and you've literally only just caught it when the crossovers happen, as we're alerting pretty fast now, um, you might be that person that waits for the crossover to happen before you trade. There's heaps of different scenarios. So, you know, that's what you can capture with this alert, um, the MACD crossover here. So, because of the fact that we're doing exchange-based alerts now, um, they're never more delayed than a few minutes, maybe two minutes, three minutes. Um, so you're pretty much getting what's happening in the market right now, as opposed to our previous alerts that would have taken sometimes, you know, five to, to ten minutes to report on statistics. So that this is a much faster alternative, and now you can, you know, check for all these different sort of trading scenarios which assist you, um, you know, in, in finding and making the right trades. So. Um, hope you guys enjoyed the video and uh, if you have any questions or comments just let us know via slack or email. We'll be happy to help. Cheers